some of our favorite acrylic clear stamps from Technique Tuesday. Great little selection here, both large and small. That's the Ali Edwards. Another Ali Edwards here, let me show you. Great words, typefaces. Some little guys here. Ooh, look at the detail on this guy. Oh boy. Wow, Spyro Garden. That's a uh, well man. Look at that butterfly. It's beautiful. It's nice and small. Mm-hmm. Perfect great, size. Yeah, for cots. A lot of these are great for cots. Yep. Sister, brother, friendship. Love this big, uh, where are you? I love this big reverse. Well, yeah, me too. Oh, that's unique. And look, if you've got the, is that the matching on that one? It doesn't match this exactly, oh. but it, it's all going to ask, which I'm going to do a little demo here in a second. Oh, great. This is a larger with uh, Ali Edwards, and the bigger ones come with the uh, three-hole punch. If you, you're storing them, you can pop them right in. Lots of little details in that. And taking a look at these little chip pieces. Now, these are really cool. They come in a little bag, and it's a little uh, almost foam-like, but really it's a little chipboard, and they're all uh, with a, a vellum finish, so they're ready to accept whatever type medium you want to put on them. Which I'm going to show you right now how I did these little chip pieces on this photo carousel card. Okay, here's the chip pieces. There's three of them here. I don't have them glue on, glued on yet, but I'm going to show you how I made those. Um, you can put letters on the things, make words. I'm going to use Tatted Angel's Glimmer Mist. I'm using Jack-O-Lantern, which is their new color, and Arctic Blue. Is Arctic Blue the newest color, too? Yeah, it's one of the newer ones. I love the shade. And I'm going to stamp with a Technique Tuesday. A um, big damask stamp. Love it, love it. I've used mine a lot, so it's dirty. First, I'm going to spray the Glimmer Mist. Got to shake off all that glimmer. And I'm going to just towel it dry. That's done. How about that for ease? Just a paper towel, right? Just a paper towel. And I'm using Colorbox ink. I'm going to stick these together. Now let me stick them over here so I can see. I've already done this. They stick. Alright, I'm going to put a little more on that one. I really don't really care where the image is. I'm just going for the look. Oh, thanks, Al. Thank you. All right, here we go. And that is the tile. Now I'm going to add a little bit of blue, especially on this one. I've got to give a plug in the background there. We've got uh, not only uh, Elsie trying to get in, but we've also got the glimmer mist to match these big pink uh, it's like a Teflon. They are really super to work with. They got two big sizes, and you can get those both at bluemoonscrapbooking.com. How about we add a, a Brad to this one? Now, what are you using there? Oh, look at these. My favorite. Oh, yeah, the Cropadol. Whoop. Hang on. Let me I mean, get it up. It makes all kinds of cool holes and so easy. Right. So you pop, you're in essence popping a hole in the, the chip piece. Using my favorite Jim Brads by Seven Gypsies. I can't get enough of that. So then I now have Let me a... scoot in on that just for a second. Okay. And then I would take... Oh, it's so glimmery. And then I can put my pieces here, maybe put a brad here. And see, that only has a tad of orange showing through now. Cool, huh? You can do tons of things, like I said, with these um, little tiles. You try them out. 